Another chapter in Jacob Wetterling's story came to a close today as a group who started a walk to bring him home made their final trip. A group of Vietnam veterans of Anoka started a walk to bring awareness to Jacob's abduction before Christmas in 1989. Since then, they've walked hundreds of miles in honor of Jacob and missing children. Today, they took their final walk together. Kate Radnitz was there. Kate, this had to be in a very emotional day for a lot of these guys. It really was, John. You know, the day it started somber as the group of veterans gathered for one last time for Jacob. In their past walks, the goal was always with the hope that Jacob would come home alive. Now, we all know what happened to the 11 year old boy, and yet, even though his story didn't turn out the way any of us wanted it to, hope lives on for the veterans and the Wetterlings in the kindness and bond that they have shared over 27 years. On a cold, quiet morning in St. Joseph, Jacob's Freedom Walk started just like the original in 1989, in prayer. We thank you for be us being able to do this walk one last time. Two months after Jacob was abducted, a newly formed group of local veterans got together to walk 61 miles from Minoka to the Wetterlings' home in St. Joseph. Mike Clark, who started the walk, was 43 years old, with an 11-year-old son the same age as Jacob. Just imagining how, how we would, Mary and I would feel or cope, I wanted to do something. A lot's changed. Today, Clark is 70. Because of health issues, the group could only go one mile this year for the last walk, from where Jacob was abducted to the Wetterlings' home. When they arrived at the house, the veterans presented Patty and Jerry with Jacob's hope flag. Hand over this flag to Jerry. The same flag they've been marching with since the beginning. You guys taught us so much about never giving up. <laughs> But while the walk started out of a tragedy, the day ended with a lot of laughter. As the Wetterlings and veterans shared cookies and coffee, reminiscing on the very first walk, and sharing stories of kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids, but also sharing the pain of losing loved ones. Our walking for you, this has helped me personally and other guys. For the Wetterlings, there are still tears amidst the laughter. Oh, it was amazing. It makes me cry. But it's the kindness of strangers, just like the veterans once were, that gives them hope. It's a sad occasion. You know, we're kind of commemorating Jacob being gone in a sense, but just being with them was always uplifting. Hope that next year is always a chance to do good, just as Jacob would have. Hope is empowering. Fear is, is debilitating and paralyzing. and. We've lived through a lot of things, and, and it's hope that's carried us. This is the end of it, but yet the issue of missing children will be in our hearts. Mike said that the veterans have also lost a few of the original group that walked in 1989 over the years. If you'd like to continue their mission to help kids keep kids safe and missing ex and exploited children, we have a link on our website for the Jacob Wetterling Resource Center at WCCO.com slash links. But just pretty incredible. Amazing they did that one last time. I think that's really neat. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot, Kate.